Now, on HistoryRadio.org, a political fairy tale, read by the author, Michael Henro Quinn. A Political Fairy Tale Two politicians hit each other on the head with a hammer and became mutually dependent on each other in order to maintain their ideologies. From that moment on, their fate was sealed. Any statement that challenged this perception would now count as a betrayal in which a whole worldview with its respective electorate would suffer. Then the unimaginable happened one year and unemployment rose to 30%. The two politicians reluctantly dropped the hammer and commissioned their own committees to investigate how their opponent could be held responsible. The committees presented their conclusions to the Senate Committee on Finances, who concluded that the findings cancelled each other out, and that as a result no one was really responsible. Consequently this year's budget could be passed and the hammer was again raised. But just at this moment, when the economy was at a breaking point and the streets buzzed with discontent, oil was discovered outside Alaska. The two politicians immediately selected a panel to find out how the new money should be spent. At the next meeting of the legislature, a vote was taken on the different proposals, but none of them received a majority. As a result, it was decided that all the money should be burnt, and then the hammer was again lifted. One month before Congress was yet convened, it was discovered that a large comet would hit the earth just before voting took place on the revised budget. The first thing that was done was to collect all the laws and regulations on one DVD so that nothing would be lost if somebody survived. Then a commission was established in order to find out who was responsible for the fact that the comet had not been discovered earlier. At this point the mood turned slightly intense and everybody started talking about the meaning of life. The assembly soon divided itself between those who felt that life had meaning, those who felt that it did not have meaning and those who questioned the question itself. The matter was then to have submitted to a vote, and those who felt that life had meaning won a narrow victory. The winners immediately rushed for the bomb shelters, the naysayers remained seated, while the doubting abstainers wanted to clarify the possibility of a national referendum in chambers. Then it happened that the comet dissolved in the atmosphere. Everybody was very relieved and wanted to go home to their families. When Congress was convened the next time, two bodies and a hammer was discovered at the foot of the speaking podium. The two famous politicians were soon recognized, and everybody now realized that they had attempted to speak out of order, without the permission of the speaker. This horrified everyone, and to this day you can read their epitaphs on their tombstones, saying they were decent people, but that power had gone to their heads. <laughs> You have just heard, A Political Fairy Tale, read by the author, Michael Henro Quinn. This is HistoryRadio.org, a free radio stream, promoting knowledge of literature and history.